Right guys, let's get into this. Everybody loves a driver video and today we're gonna to be talking about power, our favorite thing. Hitting the ball further, I'm gonna share with you a real simple tip to help stretch your backswing a little bit further. So let's make sure we start with that drill. What I want you to get is just a stretch band, a theraband of some kind, and we're gonna pop it underneath our lead foot. I actually pinched this off um, Justin Rose. I saw him doing it as part of his training, and I've tried it and I love it. So it's gonna go under your lead foot and over and round your trail shoulder, so your one that's furthest away from the target. So you're gonna be looking something along these lines. Now you can pick up a stretch band, theraband, very, very cheaply online. It doesn't need to be of amazing quality, it just needs to be looped or at least tie a knot in it so it does make a full loop. And it's a great one to really start to feel that stretch. I want to extend the band. A lot of golfers are trying to stay down here and they're restricting their backswing length, restricting their power. Make sure that's not you. It's pretty simple. I want you to feel like there is a stretch in the band here. So my trail shoulder is going more up and behind me and that's putting that stretch on the band. And you will see there that is allowing my chest to extend a little bit. So I love this as a visual. If I just put the club into my sternum so it's straight out in front of me. Now if I tilt forwards from my golf posh, you'll see this is pointing slightly downwards. Not towards where the wall would be, but slightly downwards. Now this should move up and behind you. And if you're not new to my channel, you'll have seen me do this before, but it's a great one to try and feel that chest extension. And you can see there, I've still maintained my posture. I haven't done this. It's a very different movement. So I'm not saying stand up in your backswing, but I'm saying stretch your backswing. Let's make sure you're maximizing every little bit out of it you can maximize your speed. I was very, very happy with that first drive of the day there. I got it up to 108 clubhead speed, which is pretty good for me. So I'm normally around that 105 mark, so it's about three mile an hour more. Good ball speed, 155, so about five mile an hour quicker than normal. If we can gain two, three mile an hour clubhead speed, we could gain up to five miles an hour ball speed. One mile an hour ball speed is up to about two and a half yards, so it can make a big difference. Now, obviously it's not quite that simple. We've got to hit it at the right flight, but if we're just talking speed gains, that's the kind of figures we're looking at. So let's stretch, let's extend our backswing this way with that trail shoulder going up and behind me and you really feel that stretch on the band here. And I'm maintaining my posture because as my trail side is going up and behind me, what's my lead side doing? Going down and in front of me. So lead shoulder, down and in front, trail shoulder, trail hip up and behind, and I'm stretching this band and really trying to get my arms as far away from me as possible, or as far away from the ground as possible. You could think about higher up above your shoulder, but further away from the golf ball, further away from the ground. Let's make that big backswing. And I did a few of these before I hit that first shot, which perhaps is why I hit it so nicely, because it really feels like I'm making that long, big stretch. So we've got 108 to beat. It's going to be a hard target. I've hit a good first shot, which is unlike me there. So now I've got to try and better it. I can really feel loose. I feel like I can stretch. So let's see if I can turn that into power. I don't know. It was toey. It wasn't my best strike. Maybe I shouldn't have omitted that because it's pretty well on the line. Now I did manage to cheat here. I didn't realize I clicked on a hole, uh, what am I, something like, I think the fifth hole at Spanish Bay, uh, the Pebble Beach Golf Resorts, and it is downhill. So I, I am gaining some yardage, but the speed is the speed. I haven't affected any, or changed wind or altitude or anything like that. That was 109, that was one mile an hour quicker. It wasn't as good a strike, so I was four mile an hour down on my ball speed because of the quality of contact, it was toey. But the clubhead speed was up by one. And obviously very, very good distance, over 300 yards. I'm gaining um, a bit here because it is a slightly downhill, this tee shot. So are you maximizing your backswing? We really want to make sure extending our chest we want to really make sure we're creating as big a 
coil as possible. So when we look at a player like Rory McIlroy, who pound for pound is perhaps the one of the best drivers out there, he's getting 105 degrees of shoulder turn in his backswing. To allow that to happen, his hips are turning about 45. So he's creating a big stretch also between what his upper body and lower body is doing. But mainly that stretch is being created in the downswing. So a lot of golfers I find are too worried about allowing these hips to turn and they're fixing these hips. We've got to allow them to rotate, okay? But to make sure we complete our shoulder turn and actually get that extension in our chest. Don't try and create that corkscrew effect in the backswing because if I don't allow these hips to turn, I'm very limited in chest turn, chest extension in the backswing, that's not gonna be a powerful move. So when we're creating that separation between upper body and lower body, good players are actually doing it here in the downswing. They're starting down with their lower body first and feeling like they keep their upper body back. Now, I'm not gonna to touch on that too much in this video, but I have done a couple of videos on the subject that I think are really gonna help you. So I'm gonna put the links just here, make sure you, you check them out also. Right now, we're just gonna be focusing on that backswing, getting my arms further away, extending that chest. So I've got 108, 109, can I get the 110? It looks good. I'm hoping and praying for a 110. It is carried the furthest, so there's a good chance of it. Again, you know, 310, but this hole is 15 yards downhill. So it's actually more like 295, which I'm still very, very happy with. It was my longest carry yet, and we're hoping for a 110 club head speed. Yeah, <laughs> bang on the nose, actually. So I've had a 108, a 109, and a 110. And I tell you what, that exercise, it's the only one I want you to do, that stretch band, really allowing that trail shoulders to go up and behind you, extending that chest, making sure you maximize your backswing. I know it's gonna help you produce some more speed. Obviously do it on the driving range practice area first before taking it to the golf course. Initially, don't worry about the direction when you're working on some speed gains, but hopefully you can find a speed that you could take then to the golf course. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share with as many golfers as you can, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this.